and we send money just because we have a lot of love for our family. There is a problem of family expectations. Some people feel that they always have a claim to that relative even though they don't know that person. Good morning! Magandang umaga! Maayong punta! How are you guys? It's been a while since I have vlogged. I think it's been a couple of days since I've put up a vlogging material or a vlogging video, but yeah, um, how are you? Been busy this past few days. I've been, um, I don't know. I always say I'm busy, blah, 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 but it's like, it's just really mommy duties, taking care of the babies, cleaning the house, cooking, vlogging, YouTubing, and, um responding to your messages and, uh, but lately i have been um i've been doing this um, project for halloween and i'm gonna show you a sneak peek of what i've been doing there's the bad boy can you guess who i'm going to be this halloween why are you crying hi baby how are you good morning you got your goldfish Mm. Should we change your outfit? And should I fix your hair? Oh yeah, mom is in the middle of sweeping. Got like a pile of dirt right there. And Emma's like, what is that mom? That's called cleaning, Ems. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Rejected. What are you doing? Emma, I can't catch you. Come here. Do you want to eat your lunch? Ow, ow, you're twisting my hand. Em, come on. How's your lunch? What, you, what was that? You are just, you're faking it, aren't you? Earlier, well, before I, before I put the cam, before I put the camera on her, she was eating peacefully and quietly. And then, as soon as I put the camera in front of her face, she just started acting up. Anyways, hi little guy. This one just woke up from a nap. How was your nap? Did you nap okay? Did you nap okay? Hey, look at me. Look at me. You just want to, to look at the camera. It's shiny, huh? You like the lens? The lens is shiny. Alright, you hang out over there while mommy cleans the the dirty couch. The couch have like dark spots on it because um, from where Mike has been sitting on while he was working on his car and there's like oil all over the couch and he knows he's dirty and he still sits on the couch. I can see you. Are you just chilling? Chilling like a villain? I can see you. <laughs> You have to learn how to crawl. Go get it. You have to go get it. <laughs> go get it, Elia. <gasps> he got he got the iPod. <laughs> Good job, Liam. Nice try. You have to use your legs, look at little guy. Use your legs. Okay. Yeah, 
you want to have your mouth now? Come on. <laughs> Eat your yogurt, baby. Eat. Okay guys, I want to talk about Filipinos sending money to their families. We have an old video about sending money and I feel like that video is not enough to really explain how our culture works when it comes to us um, supporting our family. Our family values and the closeness of the family in the Philippines is stronger than a lot of other places I know. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, are you sleepy? Do you want to go to bed? Want to go nappy nap? I'm gonna put him to bed first. All right, where was I? Most of Filipino families have very strong bond. Family values and the closeness of the family is very strong. I know a lot of people who travel abroad or leave their families behind in the Philippines and work overseas just so they can provide for their family. And they send all of their money back home to support their, however, like whoever it is, their family, their kids, uh, or their parents, even their siblings. Like I know a lot of people who works not only overseas, but I know some of my friends work to support their siblings. Um, there are a lot of cases in the Philippines where the oldest sibling will work and his or her income will go to his or her sibling's education. That way his sibling or her sibling will get a better life. We do not see this strange at all because it is part of life and it is like written in the air in the Philippines like how like if you came from a family that you don't have a lot it is expected that the oldest sibling like as soon as he lands a job then he is um, expected to support his parents and support their siblings education and another thing is that Filipinos that live overseas whenever they go back home whenever we go back home most most of us bring boxes with us um, it's called pasalubong we bring boxes of goodies anything we bring like shampoos we bring so the most requested pasalubongs are chocolates corned beef spam and what else? Dolce and Gabbana per perfumes. That's like the top list of all pasalubongs in the Philippines, at least, at least for my family. Yeah, uh, we bring boxes with us or we send boxes every once in a while. We send pasalubong not only in our immediate family, but also for our cousins, for our aunts, for our nephews, for even for the neighbors that's how like that's how that's just how the culture works yeah i'm not i'm not saying that all filipinos do that but most of filipinos you know send boxes send money and work their ass off overseas and send all of his or her income back to the philippines that's like normal in the culture i know some who are like oh my goodness Oh, why would anybody do that? It is the culture. Just accept it. Accept that those are just some of the ways we live our lives. So just respect that and know that uh, Filipinos are struggling. I guess all in all, it's just a matter of respect, loyalty, and love for the family. It's our culture. So if you are marrying a Filipina or you are dating a Filipina or you are newly weird, weird? or you are newly married to a Filipina, then expect that she is going to have to send money to her parents. I send money to my mom just so she can pay her rent because she's not making a lot. For us, a Filipino, it is our duty to take care of our parents. Okay, now about like the sending money. This is a pretty sensitive issue. I just want to say that there is a limit to sending money to our family. For me, I only have the responsibility to my mother. I've heard some cases. I know people that calls their family overseas and lies. They lie about like their situation in the Philippines. Um, they make up stories, they make 
they make up stories and they even like cry on the phone i've seen this like this is okay it's true that how some of um the relatives will lie and will even use their um son or daughter or some someone there they'll use like a kid and lie to that person in like working overseas that that kid is sick so that he can milk or she can milk money from that relative who who is working overseas yeah it's it's just sad how um, a lot of people do this it's sad that some people will, will stoop so low just so they can get money and they can take advantage of that person working so hard overseas i am saying this because it is true it's real um and it's happening i want you to understand that there there is some ugliness into it um it's not just all about oh we love our family so much and we we have a tight bond we are dedicated to support our family yeah i just wanna i wanted to talk about the ugly side of it as well some relatives even though they are helped it's just not enough for them it's never enough for them some will just take advantage of um, the relative that works um, it is sad because some ofws are not assertive enough to put their foot forward and tell the relatives to like hey fuck off i'm not gonna send you any more money like i can only send you money whenever i have the money to send i'm not a bank and it's sad that there are a lot of OFWs that just don't have the guts to, to step up and say f off family, you know what I mean? Anyways, moral of the story or more, the moral of all this, bottom line of all this is that we send money to our family because it is in the culture and it is our duty um, as daughters or sons to our parents to take care of our parents for the rest of their lives and we send money just because we have a lot of love for our family there is a problem of family expectations some people feel that they always have a claim to that relative even though they don't know that person and to my fellow filipinas um, that are working abroad one thing i can tell you about sending money to family is that you have to lay down the boundary of what is reasonable to ask and what is unreasonable to ask for those who doesn't know um mike's wheels were stolen he ordered new wheels it just arrived today i'm gonna have to wheel it inside the house before it gets stolen again um, yeah i have to put this baby down first dad <laughs> how's your taco bell <laughs> mm, you look like a model of taco bell right now is it good what's the signature line of taco bell huh? what's the signature line i've got the hookup all right guys we're gonna call it a night thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys next time Bye-bye.